Hi, how are you guys? It's Yvonne. I'm down on the floor. Got a showcase, another new showcase, of course. I'll tell you about it. But it's got a mirrored back panel, so I wanted to say hi. I'm at the booth. I have until 6, no, 5.45 tomorrow, the last day of the month, to flip my booths over. So, Patrick just helped me move the heavy stuff. And I've got all the knickknacks down. And someone else was leaving. Let me back up. So someone else was leaving, and of course they have to have all their stuff out by tomorrow, 545. And they were down to this one last showcase. They had two showcases for $100. So they marked it down today to 20 bucks. So I have to get, an, I had to. It's 20 bucks for a six foot lit showcase. So it's a little bit more than I intended to do here. Because I was kind of thinking to go up. But... I always like showcases to put in a little bit higher end stuff. It's what I'm working toward to be able to make more money out of the booth, right? And Becky's booth, I don't know if she's home yet. Okay, so um, I've got a lot of work to do <laughs> to figure out what I want to do. And uh, there's all the knickknacks and the rest of it's on the floor <laughs> over my other booth. And I just took a few moments to say hi to someone that was visiting her daughter, Savannah, and she and her sister watched me on YouTube. So I took a moment to say hi and have her pick out something. All right, I got to get to work. I'll update you guys in a little bit. Okay, now it's Friday, March the 31st. Yesterday I got everything flipped over, took all the nails and stuff out of the wall, vacuumed. One of the doc men I should say I say dog boys but it's affectionate one of the doc men came and painted it Patrick I don't have room for this since I bought the other six foot I put free on it but no takers yet so I got to figure out what to do with that anyway so now the new showcase I bought I did show you that from yesterday that beginning of this video so let me back into my main booth I'm just backing into my main booth you guys see my main one I just backed in so there I am now right across the hall and this showcase already has a lock on it thank goodness I just found out so this is all I can do today I want to have fun now it's about four o'clock so I'm gonna get away from the speaker hang on and I did sell a fox painting just now that was hanging there Not Love's Cottage Garden or something like that. One of these, this guy. So I want to put something, a long and skinny table here, or shelf unit that only goes up to about here. So hopefully I'll find something soon at the thrift store because that can't be all that wasted space at all. Let me back up. I double stacked those again. And this showcase I'm going to leave unlocked. So I've got the doors kind of pushed in the middle so they can see through that they can help themselves out of that case there. I don't want all my cases locked just for expensive stuff because, you know, even sometimes I don't feel like waiting for someone to let me in. Now I will say here, though, they have floor associates that are a lot of them. And uh, it happens pretty quick to get help. Okay, so that's so far. I don't think I put anything new in here. Maybe a few pieces because I just haven't had time for tagging a bunch of stuff. A few pieces are new. You guys might recognize from the Thrift With Me videos. Now I'm going to fill this up with jewelry. Move my higher end stuff like that over to that case that locks and fill all this up with jewelry. I've got $300 worth of jewelry that I bought wholesale and thrifted. All right, so I'm just backing up slowly. <laughs> it's my main booth. Let me pack up my stuff and we'll just go shop around. We've got a couple hours so I can go look around a little bit. Actually, wait a minute. 
one of you, my sweet viewers, I said I would show you all my pottery in stock, but that's just been too hard to get to. Because I do have, you know, pottery in stock that I was going to put on eBay. But let me take a moment to show here what I have here. Of course, that's Hager. I added the earth wrap and the mauve agate birdhouse that you guys saw me buy a couple weeks ago. That Hager piece there, the little Hager hat. 18 but these are prices for here not for you guys a couple more hand warmer mugs you know what i'm talking about right these sell pretty well they really do and does anybody have a schnauzer and like starbucks because there's that <laughs> let me try to turn around slowly okay so here's some of the pottery that i have here at the booth okay so prices now this is contemporary but i just bought it because it was so pretty if you can't afford a bill campbell this is getting pretty close for only 12 dollars. it's probably from sofa mart or something it's contemporary look but it was so pretty right i only paid a couple bucks for it so now this is an always azul that you guys taught me so it's a little pricier 28 good stuff you might not have seen this I added. I don't know if you guys even saw me buy this. This is a pretty piece. I thought about saving it for a sale, but it's just too, he it's pretty heavy. <laughs> Some bowls left, bowls sell well for me. That's a cutie pie for 12. Okay, so I'm the only one that thinks this is funny, apparently, because it's been, what, four months now. People look at it. I've seen people pick it up and giggle with me. So I guess it's worth that. The moose and puppy sold the frog in a live sale. This is cute, the rooster, little rooster server. And I don't know if you guys saw this vintage piece. Pink cabbage, I guess. All right, I think that's about all of the couple pieces down there. Let me zoom in real quick. The best way for that kind of stuff is to watch my thrift with me videos so you can catch things before they you know make it someplace else this is pretty this is vintage california pottery but i like the shells on it and then heavily glazed on the insides that's pretty okay i want to go shopping oh you might did you guys see this Sometimes I sneak in shopping without you guys. I'm sorry. This is pretty. Some more Cali pottery. USA pottery. It's beautiful. Perfect condition. And I took this out of the showcase. It's $40, but I better take it out of the showcase and see if that works better. All right, you guys. Let's go look around a little bit. I think I'll start with Becky's booth, which is just real close to mine, because I think... She might be home now, but let's just check. Everything looks okay, but man, she really stocks her booth nicely. Oh, look at this plate with the three mouths, $16. Becky and I are gonna try to have a, wait a minute, there's a dream pet. Okay, somebody wanted to talk to me, so I had to back out real quick. I don't remember where I was at. I was saying something about, Becky and I talked about doing a live seven dollars that's so cute talked about doing live sale out of our booth it's been well we haven't done it since we were at willowstone so that's been what for me year and a half two years so becky's booth and then if you watch her channel you know they just opened up one down the aisle for her mom you will not miss it when you're here because the most epic collection of glass ever <laughs> Becky said in, back in the day she used to collect Beanie Babies I guess that was the 90s I told her sorry for giggling but hey she's right it was the 90s that's what a lot of people did oh that's adorable oh my gosh
very soft vintagey looking photos in there but I'm not sure how old it is but it's adorable I love flocked stuff flocked and googly eyes oh I know what I was saying yeah follow Becky's channel if you see something you want to talk to her about she's on Instagram Facebook and YouTube I know she's got a card around here somewhere vintage Viking treasures where does she put her cards <laughs> I don't know <laughs> okay oh there's a cute little Christmas angel all right we're gonna move around a little bit some places I want to check Okay, we're going to shop around now. I had to go take care of one more thing. So I'm coming out of the warehouse. I'm not going to do the warehouse today. So I'm coming out of it. And I was I stopped for a moment because I was thinking for anybody new to my channel, it's been a long time since I've shown this in the rock shop. So I wanted to pause and show this. How gigantic this piece is that he has. 38 3295 sometimes it goes on sale he has sales 210 pounds it says oh my gosh this is no joke isn't it beautiful though I'm over here. okay junkyard. okay I'll be right there and I also wanted to show you guys this I don't know if I showed it to you last time I think they've been here for a couple months and this gets a lot of attention. Aren't those the cutest? Yeah, it gets a lot of attention, Janie. I'm glad he came next to me. <laughs> it helps. It looks good over here. Little tiny ones. Peter. <laughs> Peter. They put little mushrooms in it. Let's see, the minis are $15. So cute. Uh, the light's hard for you guys to see. Let me see if I can come to the back and if that might... Uh, sorry about that but they make all these terrariums it's great huh and they tell you how to take care of it <laughs> let's look at this one this one is seven hundred dollars they took a birdhouse looking thing and made a little shire garden and a big tree that's so cool. I'm going to back up so you can see. It's about like three and a half, four feet tall. They have grow lights, you guys. So that's why it's looking like green glow. It doesn't look that way to me. I might be able to adjust it. I want to turn around for a moment. I was talking with Janie, another vendor. So this is her booth. Yes, E102. Okay, so she has a little bit of everything. And it's so funny because I was looking at this earlier when I came through here this minty green maxi coat so cute I wonder how old it is it's definitely a vintage piece it's like a ponte fabric it's lined <laughs> there it is ha oh, let's see what this says Voyager West youth craft weather travels it's got a belt to cinch it with it's the color double-breasted little trench coat with a little bit of a flare okay we were just talking I got something in my booth that she might want okay oh I love that popcorn tin that's cute I don't know how old it is but it's cute fresh popped popcorn the graphics on it are at least older might as well check on Karen's booth real quick while we're here I don't know if she's been in recently I need to call and check on her oh no I think she left a message on that mom video the mom hustle out thrifted by my mom video I dropped yesterday morning so I think she's okay but her St. Patty's stuff is still up, so I might send her a text and check on her. 
Karen's Corner, booth B111 on Dick Clark Boulevard. My friend Karen, we did a live sale out of here a few months ago and you guys seem to really enjoy it. These moms, Maria, she just came in too. I think with Maria, I'm going to gossip. I hope I don't get in trouble. But I think what happened was after Williston closed down, I think she was like, I think she had to take a moment to like get the saltiness out of her air. You know what I mean? Like get uncrunchy. And then I think she finally did because, you know, she has great stuff. And so Becky and, you know, the family helped her set this up and get in. They just went for it and went and got new Ikea shelves so everything looks so pretty. But don't miss Becky's mom's booth. You know, she's like the glass queen. Lots of good stuff in here. There's a fairy lamp. That's pretty. $30 it says. And I do not have a piece of bittersweet yet. All right, anyways, do not miss Becky's mom's booth when you come here, okay? It's great. What booth number is this? B55. All the nice white shelving, okay? B55. Okay, I think we'll stop here and we'll save the rest of it for tomorrow. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun so far. We'll pick back up tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.